Okay, here we are with the family and Alexander in the back is 73 years old, so it shows that anyone can do this. They did a great lesson last week. This is lesson number two for everybody. All right, so we've just had our warm up. So we're gonna do some basic techniques. So first thing we're gonna do is to start with that movement again, because we're gonna put this in a logical order if, if you're being attacked or someone trying to punch or grab you, a logical order of movement. So get the hands up for defense and just move to the side, across, back, 45 angle over here, 45 angle over here. It's like a little, little hop, little jump, not a huge jump, and back, or a slide, slide, push off, slide, 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 45 forward, catch you off the line, 45 forward, 45 back, 45 angle back, 45 angle that is. <laughs> All right, degree, angle. All right, square from there, ju 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 straight from there. So movement's extremely important. I think um, most people neglect that for when they're teaching. So movement is the first thing to do. Blocking with the movement's the second thing to do. So after we did the blocks last week, stationary, I think you're ready to now add it to the movement. All right, so when I, rather traditional back here, which there's a traditional part of the martial art, there's a practical part of realistic self-defense. There's also a sport and art part, you know what I mean? There's all these different parts of it. So certain things work for certain things. So like a martial art competition would, could work. Now it's stuff, most of the stuff I do, if you see me in, in, in um, I wouldn't necessarily do it in a real situation, but it looks good for the, you know, for the, uh, for the art side. But, but then there's some practical things that are, yes, I would do. So it depends on, you learn these different techniques just to get you, you know, really good at a couple of different things that work for you. So I like to teach a non-aggressive way of doing it a non-violent way, but also a very serious way of, you know, if someone really attacks you with a weapon or they're really, really trying to hurt you, you need to protect and defend. So let's just do this one. To the, first of all, we're gonna do upper block back and bring the hand back to the, all right? We'll do it with a full fist. So curl your fingers, lock your thumb. One, and we'll slide back just for the practice. Not that you necessarily slide back into somebody, you're always moving back. Two, and this is ready. Or it can be open, and that's whatever suits you. That can be open as well if you want, as long as the fingers are tight. A block, up a block. Three. Now what you do it, come slide back. Four. Good, change. So left foot back now, left foot goes back. One. And the block is well above your head at a slight 45 angle, okay? All right, good. Two. Three, four, good. So really trying to get that, at, traditionally it's, you know, it's a, you see all karate and martial arts do this one, you know? That's okay, but we, I, I really want it to the face, all right? To protect your, your head, because you've got to protect your jawline and your facial features, you know what I mean? So I'd rather be hitting the chest or even the stomach or something, uh, but I want to really protect my head facial features from there as well. All right, now, so this next one is outer block. So someone's punching straight forward at you or trying to grab you straight forward. That's this way, one, and to the 45 angle, come back again. Just stay in natural position, because you're not gonna be standing like this. <laughs> if someone attacks you, I'm just standing there, waiting the bus stop, or whatever happens to be this is the case. I'm not gonna be standing with my hands up, right? But I will put my hands up if I'm attacked. Two. Now, try and bring as I come back, don't just put the arm up, bring it out, out to meet the force. Most people just put the arm up, but that, it's better than nothing, but it could cut all the claps. So you really wanna meet it halfway. Actually, in this way, you wanna meet, as I'm, they're coming in to punch you, I wanna meet it, I wanna meet the hip with my, so even I can feel that. I can, you do that to yourself, do that to yourself. See the outer forearm bone into your, see that, even the light taps you out, there's a bit of a nerve in there, right? So imagine if that's boom. That actually adds that like strike. It's a very effective, they could disable their arm. Now if they've only got one arm and you got two, you're in a much better position to protect or pick your you know what I mean? So it's a very, very effective, it's a block, yet it's a strike at the same time. Three, so I got that, and this one, what this does is give me, give me that action, see that? Action and reaction, traditionally it's like this, of course, but just for the action. And notice I'm getting to 45 angles, so I'm getting off the line. So back again, and four. Good. 
Now the other way, say they're left-handed or hook punch comes in this way. All right, so we go from here to be the right hand. One, and my, my left foot steps back at the 45 angle. Two. So this one's the right arm, Alex. The right arm this time. And three. That's it. Well done. And come back. Now save you up. And four. I'm just going to lock the left hand. That, no, that, the other one. That, that's the other one. That's good. That's right. But then try to move with it as well, okay? Get, get, that's called getting off the line, okay? And getting out, away from them. It's very important to do. Good. So that's out of block. Now we'll do down block. So if somebody's trying to punch underneath, or you know, if you're not, as well. Okay, so this is where we do a down block. One. And now the hand comes back to here. Again, traditionally, it's a way to do this uh, for, for gradings and testings and all that, but that's the same thing. Okay, that's okay. But practicality-wise, get used to bringing the hand back to here. Just takes a while to get used to it. Two. And come back. Three. Again, see how I'm really... All right? Now, traditionally, it's gone like this, but that's okay. Four. Down, well, that left arm's down this time. That's right. So you're protecting someone's coming in like this. You're protecting yourself there. That's perfect. And you've got the hand ready. So I'm telling you now, if somebody punches at you, right? If somebody punches at you, you're going to have to probably have to punch a back. That was all over again. Yeah. We're not talking about some drunk say, hey, go and laugh, get out and put your arm out there. And, you know, oh, yeah. you know, I'm talking about someone they're punching you. Or for a woman they're grabbing you, which means that that's very serious. They're trying to grab you to do something with you. Do you understand? So men just want to punch. But, so that's very serious. So that's why I want the hand here, because if that happens, I'm going to go straight to the throat. And watch how I went to the throat and I brought the other hand back to here. Right? So this is traditionally martial art, there's all this all this kind of that's okay traditionally, but it's not practical. Unless someone grabs your arm and do that one, hop, you know. That's fine. But it has to be a traditional part of martial art. There's a practical, like realistic rape and murder defense, basically, if I'm pretty blunt about it. Alright? And then there's sport aspect, which is right. You know, beautiful carters and patterns or pumps say they call it taekwondo. Carter and karate, beautiful, it's beautiful, you know? I've won those competitions before with karate, it's good fun, it's good fun. But it's not practical. <laughs> but this does teach you, actually, like, that kind of extra power. Whereas if I just did that, you can feel it yourself, there's no power. But if I do that, see the power? Okay, let's go the other way. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. And four. Down block. Right. So you understand the principle. That's the important thing. Then we'll do it in pads in a minute. We'll do all of these basics right, and then we'll do the pads from there. Okay, so there's your, uh, your basic three main blocks. Upper block is called, outer block, and down block. Some call it rising block as well. That's fine. So it's rising up. Now we do inner block. Now uh, um, from here, come in. And just again, come back to the head. Again, traditionally, it used to be, well, silly, is it? <laughs> traditionally, but I like to make it more practical because I need this hand ready. Because someone's going to hit me, I'm going to hit them back. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you go nuts, I just want to hit them back. And they'll, then I'll give you time to get away. Otherwise, they hit you once, I'll keep doing it. I don't give them a chance to have a second go. Once enough, thanks. <laughs> Here we go. Come in, is that? That's also a hammer fist strike as well, with like bam into the temple or ear, for example. That's it, and back to the, that's it. So you get used to this action back to face because I'm protecting my face. Because they, the problem is, if I don't do that, now traditionally I did this, I'm leaving myself wide open in my jaw. So I might stop them here, but their other arm might hit me right here. You know what I mean? So, well, this, this, in this hand, can you be here? But if I've got that there, then that's in the way. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike them before they get a chance to hit me. You can also do covering like this as well. You can cover. If you don't get a chance to um, punch them, you can cover like this, for example. And I'd rather be hit here 
and into my ear or temple, you know what I mean? Or you can even pull a flat hand against your temple, for example, and take it this way as covering. All right, you see, boxers do that, they can't. But that's because it's, you know, it's a fight, it's a, it's a sport. <laughs> the self defense you've got to get out of the way. If you can't, if you can't, you can cover, then come in for another shot. All right, from here, same action in a palm block. Palm block, palm block, palm block. Now you're pushing someone out of the way. So I'm trying to grab there and pushing my hand out of the way. That's it. Good, good. See, very simple. Martial arts are very simple. After 40 odd years of tennis and martial arts, martial art is much easier to learn than tennis, for example. All right? That's why I bought our pickleball because it's even easier to learn. <laughs> a bit more rules than that. Small court, you have to run so much, you know? The it's tennis, you've got the ball to worry about, the racket, you've got to get into a certain line and lines. You know what I mean? So there's a lot involved with coordinating. But this is where only coordinating your own body. There's no racket or ball or baseball bat to worry about or basketball to throw. It's just your own body. It's actually really good for you. <laughs> and it assists your coordination. Some people say, oh, I can't do that, I'm not coordinated. Well, if you're not coordinated enough, you should be doing it. Because <laughs> it'll develop, develop coordination and reflexes. You know what I mean? So yeah, all right, good. So downward palm block is another one. Downward, down. So it's a revising last week, pretty much. And this time we'll bring the open hand to the to the face. Now from there I can do a knife hand strike, which I'm going to teach you today as well. I'll teach you more hand strikes. We do a palm strike, or we can close it for a fist. We've got quite a few options. Downward palm. That's it. Great. And I'll teach you another block today. X block. Someone tried to kick you, for example. I can step back and X block. Then I can grab their leg. That's the idea of it. You know what I mean? Rather than down, I can double whammy with extra strength. But grab their leg, gonna be quick though, then you have to like counter strike with the fifth, you know, the, the kick and then come in, you can't hold it there for 10 minutes or anything. <laughs> it's gotta be stop and then, you know, double upper set punch or, you know, or stop and then palm punch, for example, as a defense. Once you, they kick you, because again, if someone's kicking you, you've upset them. <laughs> well, they're just generally a nasty person, aren't they? And they're trying to make it, which is not nice. All right. So let's try that. Yep. You also, like, when they're kicking, you try to pull the leg at the same time. Like you can, you can. You As they're coming through, you can grab and pull it through and come in with the back fist, for example. Perfect. Yeah, Alex, exactly right. So let's go back, nice tight fingers. Back and strong, you know? As you get the action, so it's all, my grandmaster, son, Sully, always said dynamic, dynamic, dynamic. So I've always done speed, 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 right? So once you get the basic technique, then you go for speed. Okay, bam, fast. Good. This is part of the Hapkido white belt to yellow belt grade as well, just let you know. So we'll start, we'll start with the grade itself, just gradually as well for you. The white to yellow belt, it's those belts. There, yeah, good. Just I do this, this one's an open hand, so yeah. See, this is where you come into here. That's okay, come to here and then boom. But tight fingers in case you get hit. Again, I'd rather be, I'd rather have a broken finger than a broken groin. <laughs> Ooh, right? Not the end of the world, but I'd rather have tight fingers for two reasons, so they don't jam as much and I can then grab easier as well. So that's okay. All right, great. So that's, we'll do all the upper X block while we're at it, because that is part of the grading syllabus as well. Let's step, and let's step back with it this time. Let's step back. Step more. This could be used Again, always get out of the way. If someone's trying to hit you, you, you get out of the way. And push it away. But for some reason, I don't have time. Oh, let's put my arm up. You know? uh, again, I'd rather be hit with a stick in my arms than my head. So if there's, if there's a choice. <laughs> right. Okay, so upper, that's called upper X block in Hapkido White Belt Cells. All right, upper X block. Good, okay. All right. Good, so there's our blocks. Okay, so that's good. There's, there's a huge one, but in the covering as well, but they're your basics. And now we go on some strikes, and then we're going to combine them for some movement, all right? So practice the movement, then we'll do the bag work so you understand the practicality of it, all right? So let's start with our, our let's just start stationary. Let's combine, remember our palm strikes? Just one, two, again, back to, the, back to the face, not back here. And see, I'm using my hip, getting my hip involved, and I'm, and I'm at the back here. Tight fingers, tight fingers. Oh, that's good. 
just type things like that. I always, you know, like a waiter carrying a tray or something like this sometimes, I do it that way. And that's, that's, and that's it. So bend back to here in the palm. So we've got to get those fingers back to see. Okay, that, that's it back there. Yeah, good. Here part. Good, guys, that's great. And what's that strike called? Anyone yeah, remember? Palm strike. Sure. Palm strike! Yes, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> palm and a strike. <laughs> a palm strike. All right, good. Now we'll go back to basic punch. Just, you know, hands up, boxing style, and just. Into the throat, preferably. Good. It's nice and relaxed. Shoulders are just nice and relaxed. I'll teach you, um, also, I'll go through the vertical fist punch as well now, which is the Wing Chun style that with Bruce Lee obviously first started, invented by a woman. So I'm very, I like that because. Um, you know, it's uh, been so involved in teaching women self-defense since 1985 at girls' schools in Sydney, Australia, and then women's only hapkido in 1987, because I saw a need for it. When I was training the ladies, we'd be, oh, huh, huh, you know, <laughs> and the women would look for the door and go, I'm getting out of here. They certainly practice their running techniques without going in the you know what I mean? And they got, like, look, look, too bad. And martial art was intimidating to certain people. They don't understand it, get introduced to it, Correctly, other instructors are watching this. <laughs> Correctly and safely, and don't intimidate your students. Um, that is a big issue. That's why a lot of people say, "Oh, I tried, and well, I didn't like, you know, what you know, you know, you know. well, you've got to hang in there with it, get up and down." But you get the right instructor that helps. So yes, um, yeah, that's important. We can as I said. And hapkido is, if those who don't know, is a mixture of everything. No, it's the complete art of self-defense and the original mixed martial art. Elements of Taekwondo, basic karate, Wing Chun, as in Kung Fu, Jiu-Jitsu, Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, stand-up, Aikido, with the movement, Aikido. And we have a ground defense system as well. Our ground defense system is not so much grappling like they're doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You just hit the eyes, the throat, the nose. We still can break the arms if we need to, but it is for street defense, not for sport. Okay? So the... And the, and, the, and the syllabus is, or the Hosin Sul it's called, is all self-defense. Not, not part of the argument, or patterns, or kumse. That's Taekwondo karate. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, Alright, so now, we're up to uh, Wing Chun's this one. Okay, so... So it's a very quick form of punching. It's very effective. It's not that powerful, but it's really hard to block. Like, you can't... Except in the except in the kung fu movies back in the old days, they pop 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 pop. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's kind of like oh my god, like it really can bamboozle you. I doubt a street fighter or anyone that do this. Anyone that ever do this punch would be a Wing Chun person, would be a martial artist, and they should be fighting the first one. So I thought not to do that. <laughs> Get your black belt taken away if you do anything silly. But the more that's an interesting thing. The more you do martial art, the less likely you want to fight because you don't realize your power and you don't want to hurt anyone. And also, you're you taught not to, unless your life's in danger. Alright? So let's try that. Just there. But I don't, the only thing about Wing Chun, no offense, my Wing Chun friends, that the stance I don't particularly like because it's, it's hard to move and it opens your groin up. So I like a side on stance, like a boxing style stance, and it's this one. But not the front on kind of stance because we've got to learn to move. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's like that's it, out and come back. Out, stand out, that's it. Some people accidentally bring their elbows up and look like they're sewing something or whatever, but their elbows down. It's a very effective form of punching. And the full fist, of course, is the bow on the outside. Those who aren't sure, who's watching this, curl lock, curl lock. The strong, strong fist, okay? Good. All right, that's great. So that's the this punching is called, but we start punching. So we'll credit that to them. Now that that's good, so now we'll go on to um, some kicking. And actually, no, we're going to do some basic movement. Okay, basic movement. So get used to moving back and forth. Okay, so hands up. So as I call the number, palm strike. One. Hey! I'll actually make. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll start the Korean numbers. This is why, how I do it. Hanadol set there, dasat, yasat, etc. They're the Korean numbers, one to ten. So it's traditional. For traditional purposes, chumbi is ready position, chumbi ready position, parallels is parallel, 
in English, <laughs> Australian, <laughs> or American, <laughs> or Mexican, there you go. <laughs> All right, so, um, and um, obviously, yeah, so, I use the, I use the uh, Korean terminology when I want you to make the noise, and that noise is called a kia. Now, what does that do? Okay, people think it's for show. No, it's not. What does that do? Can you think about what would the noise do? You, I've told you one. It's just, it's yeah, the what else can it do? What does it give you? Dull question. Sorry? Dull question. Well, they'll be down when they should attack you when you clear. You get a lot more power. I'm used to it. Yeah, your technique. It keeps you breathing because that was in a panic situation. You've got to remember there's fight and flight. Try and fly if you can. But if you can't, they've got to fight or defend, whatever the other would call it. So it keeps your breathing going. Rather than yeah. Also, when you punch out, you're tensing your ab abs and stomach. So that gives you, if they hit you in the abs and stomach, guess what? They could even hurt their hand. You've got a strong ab, boom, that's it. But if you're loose and yeah, it's just going to hurt your stomach, you'll heat the stomach. So, right? It's going to take the wind out of you, then you're in trouble. Because you, that's a very vital part, too. You can't get out of breath, oh, then you're in trouble. And that brings you down, and you're more vulnerable to the head hit, for example. So, it tenses your ab muscles, so it gives you more power there as well as strength in your abs, okay? And it attracts attention. You do it going, ah! Or, you know, and people go, oh, I've got 911. Triple zero in Australia. <laughs> All right. All right. They're going to attract attention. So they, oh, you may get some help or they may call the police. All right. And things like that. So it does attract attention. And it's pretty obvious that something pretty bad is going on if someone's making a bit of noise. All right. You don't want to be able to help. You don't want to get kicked. But I mean, you're making noise. On, the word no is good too. If, it, uh, if you're not doing the martial arts so much and you can do the word no. <laughs> no. No! Things like that. And that, that works well. That's very clear that it's not meant to happen. So we can do that, all right? But I'll get you doing the key ups as well, just for a bit, bit of traditional purposes as well, and for the power. So right back center. Now I will call the Korean numbers. So as I call a number, you're going to do a palm strike and go, hey! Hey! Now people do different key ups for different noises. Uh, when I do mine, they're all like, like do different noises all the time. <laughs> I even do it on a tennis court, a pickleball court, the ball's going, like, ah! <laughs> no, I say to my partner, that means that's Australian for the ball going out. <laughs> hey! As you leave the ball, you know, it's like going out. Pickleball happens all the time. We hit balls going out. Long story for <laughs> So here we go. Hana! Hey! When you do the key up, as you hit. So breathe in, as it hits, okay? Well, throw it to the bag lad as well. Just take a little while to used to it. Now, I'll get you doing blocks without key upping, just practicing the breathing, okay? So, ready, block, just breathe. One, I'll do it in English numbers because then you won't get confused with the key up. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, good, and hand back to get correct. Moving forward, middle punch, okay? Again, I'm bringing, rather than all those traditional people that they don't panic, we still do all this, but for practicality purposes, I need you to get used to bringing it back to the face, okay? From here, hana, hey, no, hey, sit, hey, no, hey, no, sit, yeah, sit, come on. Stop in Korean. Man, we're getting ready for the next technique. So just finish what you're on and stay there. All right, that's good. Now moving back, moving back. If I just go parallel at the moment, just parallel stance. Right foot back and 45 angle blocking. One out of block. Now we go the other way. Two. So I'll lean that away. Three. Four. No shouting on blocks, five. You don't have to shout on blocks, you're just trying to get confident in the technique and you still get that power from breathing anyway. Six, that's what I'm saying. 
Correct, good, that's applicable now. What? Now moving forward, um, knife hand strike, I'll, probably, I'll show that to you but I haven't really done it. So just practice this from here to start with. So this one. Those are my friends that grew up in the 70s. You'll remember, <laughs> you remember a TV show called Get Smart, Maxwell Smart. <laughs> Hilarious. So you do this to the hop and hit them on the neck and they go oh, and get chaos. And you have to look it up. Get smart. He's got to be on YouTube somewhere. Oh, I should look at myself on that. Yeah, get smart. You remember that one, yeah. Alex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. Go ahead, Adams. That's hilarious. Okay, right back to the Knife hand strike. Traditionally in Taekwondo, we do it here. In Hapkido, we do it down here. It doesn't really matter, but I'll get you to follow through so you're used to actually following through or something. Hana! Hey! Plus, we're doing the half keto here, not for the adults. Go! Hey! Bring that hand back to the ear. So you're trying to hear somebody talk. Say! Hey! No! Hey! That's it! Hey! Yes! Good. Same arm, same leg. Shumbi. Good. Okay, excellent. So there's your basic movement. Alright, a little bit of basic movement, a little bit more, but that's fine today. So that gets you moving back and forward to the side, gets you moving, okay? Now I'll just do some, we'll do some kicking now, and then we'll have a drink break, rest break, and then continue from there. We'll do some bag work. So from here, kicking, hands up, lower cross kick. Where does that go, everybody? Remember last week's lesson? Where does that go? Not in the air. Shin, correct. Shin, ankle, ankle, shin, or right in that kneecap on the side. Okay? It can even be a stomp onto the thigh as well if you're high enough. You then can crack onto the thigh, but mainly that's fine. Shin, so ankle area, shin a little bit higher, and then knee coming under. Okay? So let's practice. Actually, we'll just practice it. When, when we do something new, it's probably just practice it in your own time, nice and easy. You don't have to, you know, do it in your own time. So just that's what we go. Do you want an old walker and correct? You've got grip on those bottom, yeah, the, there's no socks. If you don't do martial arts, don't, don't wear socks, or you can wear uh, martial arts shoes or bare feet, but they've got grip on those, so that's okay. <laughs> Just grip on the bottom, so you won't sleep. Keep going, lower. And what's this one called? Shin kick. Lower cross kick. Lower cross kick. Yeah, that's it. Good, good, straight in, very good. It's not, it's not a um, hugely powerful kick, but it should release them a little bit. Maybe they're grabbing it, they release them, oh, maybe they'll loosen up, and then you can do something else. It's about the use of someone to grab your arms. If you're good enough, you won't get that position before they grab your arms, you know what I mean? So, so forget it, you've got to cover everything. <laughs> Just in case. Change. Left foot back stance, in other words, hands up. Now this is the stance I like. Again, this stance is for wing twin. I like this kind of stand, it's not too far out so they can grab your hands, not too close so they can use it against you, but just in the middle there. Ironically, you pick a ball again, that's how I hold the power <laughs> in front like that. I call it the Wing Chun stance, okay? But I like this as the general stance as well. Lower cross kick, here we go. One, two, etc. Let's have a look. Right. Good, lower cross kick, very good. Good, the other one's a lower outer kick. Maybe the foot's further in front from here and I'm coming out like that, okay? So hands up again, and just in front. Just there, out, out, out. Change stance at the leg, and out, out. Go over the legs last time, it's fine, change. And relax, okay. So, um, from here, Gaisha, I'll get you coming from here. So, say if someone grabs me in close, and it could be, I don't know if the video will see that far, but say you're against a wall or something, say grab me up close, again, before, I shouldn't let you get that far. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for some reason, I'm not paying attention. Maybe I'm looking at my phone. Maybe I'm going like this. Who would ever do that? And who would ever walk across the road doing this? No one does that, do they? And whoever drive like that? Yeah, right, everybody. Okay, so stop being phone obsessive, even this man does sell great phones. <laughs> 709 Lincoln Boulevard, Venice. What's your website again? Superstar Sailor. Super... Sailor? Superstore? Superstar Sailor. Superstar. 
Australia.com. Celia. Celia. Ah, superstar. Oh, I'll put that in Australian. Superstar Cellular. Cellular. <laughs> dot com. There you go. This man's got shops all around Venice and Santa, Santa Monica. So if I'm not paying attention, for, this is, by the way, if I'm not paying attention to some text note and looking at my phone, straight in. Right? I use a phone. Right? I, and he's so. How good is that? That's where it's handy. Here we go. Bam. There you go. So you can have your phone ready, but don't get distracted by it and walk down the street like this and walk across the road like that. That's very annoying when you're trying to drive and someone's walking across the street. <laughs> you're trying to run them over. So there you go. But if I'm distracted, for example, and maybe he's got me in a position where if you come up quickly from here at footfall, I come in and boom. If I can't use my hands, maybe he's grabbed both my hands, for example. Say so you grab both hands against my chest, coming closer. Move from there. I've been vaccinated, it's okay. <laughs> okay, come in. <laughs> okay, boom, from there, okay? All right, so there you go. Okay, so lower heel kick, all right? Here we go. That way, here we go. Hook and back. That's it. You can say that, I mean, you could seriously use that. I've got COVID, don't get too close to me. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got really bad COVID. <laughs> Don't get too close or I'll sneeze on you. All right, change. There's a few verbal tricks you can use. Like some of the girls could say it's not, not a good time of the month. If someone's getting a little close to you. And that works. And I actually got told that works. I said people are talking. And they go, oh, okay, okay. You know, because some men or boys don't know how to, what word no means. But also women have got to learn to say no means no. Not, oh, I don't know about going out of the room. You see what I mean? they will be very, very, very clear. So you're not giving away the signals that, you, you, you know what I mean? So that kind of thing as well. Because that's where it's very, uh, so hard sometimes because sometimes, you know, this, this, this sexual assault can be a fine line between they think they said yes and they think they said no, and then, you know what I mean? That's very difficult. But it's a violent attack that's pretty obvious. That's a late situation. And it's pretty obvious, then you have to hit and get away. Okay, so lower heel kick, that's correct. I'll teach you another one today. Circular kick's very effective. So get your left foot forward for me. It's not which side, but so I'll just stand here, put your steps, his left foot out. Um, again, maybe I'm, I'm distracted here or doing something, I can come in and bam, take the leg out and put him up. Even if it doesn't fall down, I can put, I'm not gonna try and fall, get him down because he's a beginner. <laughs> it was a black belt, I made him go down. <laughs> like my Tai Chi twins, Josh and Jeremy Rorty. Check out their website as well, at dojo to you.com, D-O-J-O to you, T-O-Y-O-U, and they have incredible videos on self-defense, even Uber driver defense, dog defense, Tai Chi is incredible. Very good, they're my mates in Oregon. I spend a lot of time with them. They've been throwing around since 1998, my original self-defense world, self-defense team. Joshua and Jeremy Rory, the Chai Chi twins. So check those videos as well, dojo to youcom Incredibly good videos. Okay, so again, long circular kick from here. So I'm coming in closer from here. Bam, take, again, I can kick the, I can kick into the, into what here? I can kick behind the knee and at half any level there, okay? So this I describe it like a uh, soccer, soccer kick. Now in America they call it soccer or football. They call it soccer, don't they? Soccer. Soccer. Yeah, exactly. Because so, in England they call it football, which is probably makes sense because it's the foot. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, in America it's football. Like you've got the gridiron, and we've in Australia got rugby league, rugby union, football. So we do call it soccer mainly as well. Okay, so here imagine I'm kicking the soccer ball into the goal over here. So let's jump forward and sweep. That's a sweeping technique. So pivot on this foot as well. Pivot. When I teach a roundhouse kick as well, you can learn to pivot. I'll, I'll teach a roundhouse kick. I'll teach a side kick first today as well. So there you are, right. So jump forward. You kick your final leg, okay? That's right, sweeping the ball. Chain stance from here and again. Jump forward, sweep. Good. Good, okay. Now 
going to do a kick called side kick. So again, let me see if you come up here again. Quite pretty front. <laughs> okay, from here, grab my arm. So say, for example, I'm waiting at a bus stop or a train station or something, and they grab my arm. Now, I can step in and hit them, which is fine, but the problem there is, the only problem if I miss and they can grab me and make it a worse position and get into that grappling position and take it to the ground. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna kick through the knee, push off and run. Now, if he comes back at me, that's a different story. Come back at me, rush, rush me. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> Good idea, I don't think I'll rush myself either. Okay, so kick to the knee, I run, 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 come and get me. Boom, bam, that's called a back fist strike. Okay, actually we'll practice that today as well before we do the kick. So if I practice this, back fist, boom, 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 just to the side. Pa, pa, pa. All right, now, so again, let's try and bring it back to here again. Bam, bam. Traditionally, we're used to doing this all the time, but so let's stop doing back here. Back fist, back fist. Well, you just swing through like a backhand and squash with tennis. Boom, ready, as well. Back fist, good. Just the side, Alex. So Alex is just standing front and just doing that, just do it slowly. That's it, to the side. To the side, that's it. Good, now low back fist is back here, back here, low back fist. Again, this way, low back fist. So I'm standing those on, because I'm thinking about some of the self-defense techniques you're about to learn. I'm going to cover those as well. Low back fist. And remember, let's revise our elbow strike as well, we did last week. So let's revise elbow strike, open hand, hapkita style, or taekwondo style. Full fist doesn't really matter. Elbow strike up. Alex, okay, from here, just put the hand in, just take it slower, elbow, elbow back. That's right, elbow comes up. Now, low elbow strike. Low, 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 low elbow strike. And front elbow strike, forward, 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 forward. Good. Now let's go into that side kick. Let's just stand here. Knee up, out, back, down. Now this time we're here with a heel. So it's from here, up, out, back, down. Someone grabs my wrist, for example. And I can't quite reach with this one, for example. They're drunk, obviously. No one just kind of grabs your wrist and stand there. They normally drag you. Do you know what I mean? So I can use a momentum and palm strike for more punches, and that's okay. But if I initially have a shot on their leg, I'll take that and then I'll step forward and punch, for example, so I combine it. Because at worst case scenario, if I miss the leg, at least I can step in for the strike. All right? So again, from here, up, out, back, down. Just practice it in your own time, practice both sides. So you see what you're doing? Double times, grab here, get into the knee. Kick with the heel into the knee. Bring it up. Kick, that's it. Use my knees as a target, but don't hit it. <laughs> Too many more pickleball tournaments and tennis tournaments to play. And martial art tournaments again. I'm sure you're retired from those by now, but I'll keep going today, 60 next year. <laughs> keep winning the over 18 black belt division. Yep, I can do it. If you have a partner that can get thrown around, that's the key. All right, so use the heel. Boom. All right. That's called side kick. What's that kick called? Side kick. Oh. <laughs> let's do another one, let's do back kick. Maybe someone grabs both my arms. I actually demonstrated before anyway, so someone grabs both their arms, for example. You just go, I can step out of balance. Boom, back kick. Now this time the heel is up, the toes are down. Oh, you know, little angles, okay, you can't expect it like that, but not so much a side kick, that'll still work. But you want to get, the, the idea is to get the heel into their groin. Boom, and you can still kick the knee, that's okay, but the groin's better. Kick. Boom, and then push off and run. Seven's designed to run. Do you know what I mean? That's important. <laughs> You're not fighting, you're getting away. Kicking, kicking, kicking. Put your hands behind you, because that's more practical. That's what actually would happen. Because my hands are above, I'm gonna use my hands probably more than the kick. But having said that, there's a distance thing, the kick can cover distance. Then you can follow up with hands. So you must always follow up, because the kick may not hit. 
Not everyone just stands there. See, you have a shot at me, and it's fine. That's quite work that way. They're moving. They're moving, right? Yeah. That's what self defense is. They're moving. So we, when, once you do your structured martial arts, which is where you just take it easy on the partner, you do all these techniques, you've got to learn to actually make it realistic and then grab it like this and pull you off. But that's it, down the track when you're a bit more experienced with your basics. You've got control over your kicks. You're not going to kick someone's knee out. <laughs> Things like that. All right. So there's your back kick. It's there. Good. Try that more. Boom. And look over the shoulder of the leg you're kicking with. All right? Good, okay, so now, all right, that's great. We're gonna, we're gonna do some um, strikes on the bag now. We're gonna do a little circuit, okay? So, where we all practice our techniques. There we go. So, I'm gonna practice the blocks here. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in line, and actually you're gonna go first. A bit more experience, one, one less than all. <laughs> anyway, look, from here, you stand in front of the bag this way. You're gonna do you're gonna do from here, kick, right? And kick. And you know what? It doesn't matter if it's moving, that's actually a good thing. If you're trying to kick something that's moving, so that's actually good practice to kick someone that's moving around. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna strike you with this mitt, and you are gonna do a palm, you have to do a palm strike into this pad. Okay? So I'll show you all this just to an example. I strike, you move out of the way, open and move, jump over there, and then palm with this hand. And then run. Ready again, ready again, come back, seven straight. So do, 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 do two front kicks, one, two. Now come forward, you can move, get up, move and punch this one. That's right, so you gotta move and block. So when you're, when you're moving out of the way, your arm goes one way, but my head goes the other way. Does that make sense? So there, and then I run. And I do want you to practice the run. Hop, key, run. Tight one, run. <laughs> Here we go, good guy, and then palm. Now, if you can still learn to move a bit more, jump out of the way like we've been practicing. Hands up. And ah, oh, ah, oh. you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna say the word no, at least no, on the pad, okay? You ready? Here we go, so say the word no. And when you're kicking out, keep the hands in front, okay? Come over here, I'm striking there, and say no, no! And then hit when you say no. That's right, that's right. Good. No! no. That's it. You can do a punch or a palm, you can vary it. I vary it a bit. Sometimes do a palm, sometimes do a punch. Come over here, walk this way, I'm coming forward with the punch. No. That's right. No. Perfect, perfect. Good. Okay. Take it easy, Alex. That's it, good. Nice and easy on the no. Good. Good. No. Good. No. That's right. Good, good. Take it easy. Good. Not too high in the kick. So we don't want to sit over a knee. It's nice and easy. And bend the knee first and kick with the ball of the foot. Bend the knee, kick with the ball of the foot and come back, okay? Yeah. That's right. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 This is what we're gonna do now. So practice the uh, grab or a hold at the same time. As you, after you've done, this time we do practice just side kick, okay? So I want you to do two side kicks with the same leg, and then next time you come up and do the other leg, okay? Then I'm gonna go and grab you with one handed, just to show you we're not there's no contact between the students. I'm gonna grab one hand and you're gonna run away, okay? So you're gonna come do one leg there. I'm gonna grab your left hand. And that's it, two, two kicks, walk towards me. I'm grabbing there, now you're gonna, no. Yeah, that's me, good, nearly, nearly. You're gonna pull and left foot, left arm and run back to the line. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so from here, you're gonna pull it up. No, that's it, and at the same time, left foot, left foot, the same. That's right, and run. This is very important to learn how to get out of a grab before they actually grab you. <laughs> to avoid it. That's right, here we go, mum. Here we go, there's mum there, mum and daughter and dad, that's exciting. The family that kicks together, sticks together. <laughs> Alex is two, that's good, mate. 
And then bring it, bring it, um, don't pull off, just bring that arm back and run away, okay? So bring it back up to the shoulder. Like bring it back up like I'm touching my shoulder. Like that, that's a good idea. Touch, do this. Everyone touch their left hand, grab their right shoulder, they'll make you fall away. And then the left foot as well, okay? Okay, here we go. <laughs> that's right. That's it. Good. That's it. Pull back, pull back. Yeah. Pull back, good. Use your heel, take your time, use your heel. Pull. I just want the side kick, okay? Where's that going to? Which area of the body? Where's that kick? Where am I kicking? The side. The knee. The knee. The, knee. the knee. the side of the knee, okay? Alright, so through the knee. That's right. Just pull it. No, pull it back a bit more. You need to pull it back. And make sure you do the other leg each time. Pull it back quickly and run. Practice your run. I want you to run faster. That's it. It's not a casual stroll in the park. <laughs> casual jog. Oh, yeah. Alex, go, 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 go. Don't you need to pull it back. That's correct. Correct. Now, I'm going to grab both hands and it's the same action. It's the same thing. I feel like I'm holding a ball and I'm bringing elbows up in front. So you're not blocking, Alex. You are just bringing the hands up at this stage. Okay, that's a different technique against punch when you're blocking. This is a yeah, here we go. Side kick, side kick, good. And then that's right, and run. So bring the and the left foot again. Good. Bring up, yep. Use your heel, use your heel. That's it. Yep, bring it up, bring it back. Now bring it back, Alex. Back, Alex. This is why you wait and practice this. Is so you're throwing the water over your shoulder or something? That's the kick. Yeah, that's the throwing it over your shoulder. Practice the action. Everyone, practice the action. At home, if you're watching, practice the action. Must practice grasshopper. <laughs> Daniel Sun. <laughs> uh, we've all seen the Karate Kid. All right, you want the Karate Kid yet? The original, good. Very good movie. And all of them, watch all of them, and then watch check your chance. The original. Yeah, finish it there anyway. So tension, come back, Alex. Come back in line. That's good. Finishing there tonight. Don't know about that. We know that. Tension. Chuck in there. Okay. Face the front. Tension. And I want to pay respects to my grandmaster, Sung Su Lee from Sydney, Australia. Originally Korea, of course. All your help and amazing instruction over the years. Thank you, Grandmaster Lee. You've been amazing. Over 35 years with you now, and it's been great. Tension, Chakunne. Hop Thank you.